what is up everybody welcome to today's youtube video today's video might not be that long but basically i just want to let you guys know that i have finally been able to put on the legend 10 example legend 10 elite and i've worn them twice just to break them in nothing crazy i haven't played a game in them yet because my season hasn't started yet um but i just wanted to say i put them on i've gotten some touches on the ball um did some little bit of jogging walking around in them and i can say that these are definitely worth it do not be afraid to purchase these to buy these to try these um just because they're not kangaroo leather or they're not a natural leather um these are definitely worth it the synthetic feels awesome i mean once i got over the fact that they weren't um a natural leather i forgot about them and they felt almost i'm gonna say almost as good as a leather boot and that's crazy um because i thought it was just gonna feel like something different um and they don't they actually feel almost just as good as any natural uh leather boot that's out there um they kind of remind me of my puma king platinums the one that neymar they try to have him market when he first came over to puma they remind me of those a lot um they're uh, just a great boot i love the low profile um on these that they have here um and yeah i mean at first i put them on i'm like man these feel really really tight um i don't know how it's gonna go um uh, but i mean within probably 20 minutes maybe of just having them on and walking around them touching the ball getting a few touches here and there i mean they started to i can't i, I don't want to say mold to my foot because again it's not a natural um leather so i mean i guess it's still molding to my foot but they just felt comfortable and really nice. And by the second time that I wore them, uh, you know, and I wore them each time for about an hour, a little bit over. Um, so I can't wait to play in them. Of course, I won't play in them until I can black them out, of course, on the top. Can't do the bottom, but I can the sole plate, but I can do the upper. So I'm gonna do that here soon. Um, but yeah, I mean, honestly, a really great boot. Nike really, did something here with these um i mean if you're all for the environment these would be the ones to go for um they, you know, obviously that use recycled material um a lot of people say that the kangaroos in australia are actually like um there's too many of them so I don't know if the reason that they care about animals and if whatever they're saying, that's the reason why they're stopping using kangaroo leather. I don't, don't know if that's true, but I will say that, you know, this, these are just as good. I won't say better. Maybe I don't want to go that far and say that they're better, but I will say they're very good and maybe don't look at them as, oh, this is, you know, the temple line continued. Just scratch that. They have a name. But just think of them as a new boot. You're being presented a new boot, um, something uh, that Nike just released. Um, I, I, they should have named them something else, maybe. But I understand why the Temple line has been around for so long. They probably didn't want to get rid of it completely. Um, maybe they thought people wouldn't care, and I'm sure there's still a lot of people um, who still care that they're not natural leather. But man, don't. Don't make them that mistake. Give them a try, please. Um, I, I guarantee you'll probably you. Will, I guarantee you will like them. That's that's how much I have liked them already, and I've only wore them twice. And I do have my season started soon in a few days, so these will be the ones that I'm taking. And I'm, I'll leave my Mercurials and my GTs and um, my other temples at home to play in these. These are that good. I'm telling you, it's you know. I don't know I don't know how else to put it but just they're comfortable on feet you forget that you're wearing them just like a natural leather boot um, and of course if you order through Nike 
you can always return them, exchange them, 60 days, you know. So, I mean, I know you watch other videos and they always say they're going to tell you if it's worth it and then they just give you a bunch of, well, it depends, well, obviously. But no, I am here to endorse these and say, and I'm not getting paid anymore by Nike. Um, and even if I was getting paid, I'd be honest. But these these have been really nice, enjoyable experience. Put them on. I'm hoping that since it's synthetic, that it's not gonna, you know, do all the things that natural leather boots, you know, have done. We've gotten used to dealing with those issues. Um, since I'm here, since I live here in Florida, I want to test them out in wet conditions just to see, but it hasn't rained. I haven't had a chance to be out there in the rain with them or even like, a, you know, a wet pitch. So hopefully we can do that soon. Um, uh, the one thing I want to say that I know it's a synthetic, so you might think that you just want to go um, play on turf with them. And the soap plate might allow that for you to do that but I really don't recommend it just because yeah the warranty with Nike is you know obviously it states these are firm ground so you know stick to what you buy stick to that um, if you having trouble deciding if you should get firm ground or you should get like an AG soul play because you play on turf always I would say just go with the the AG and you can wear those on regular um, grass or natural grass or on turf um, just because I noticed one time I did buy some uh, super flies and I didn't even realize that they were um, uh, for AG and until so I saw like the toe box had like an extra um, like coating on, on, on the front of it on the toe box and that's obviously to protect with abrasions from the turf and all that stuff so um definitely but i mean other than that it worked they, they were great they were just like a normal a normal uh boot superfly so my best thing i would say is just try to get a um, ag boot and you know you could use it for both if you, I mean, that's if you're having trouble deciding, but I would not take these and yeah, they're synthetic and they might be okay, but you'll never know if something happens and then Nike maybe for some reason might not give you your um, refund or your voucher or whatever that is that you try to claim if something happens to them. But definitely I would say these are worth it. These, you should have these, you should be playing in these and I would go out and get them. That's just my opinion. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.